You know, people often ask me, Warren, why do you enjoy working with animals so much? Do you really like animals better than you like people? Well, let me give you the answer. Yes, I do. Why? Because they're honest. Animals never lie. There's no facade there with animals. I'll give you an example. You could be a friend of mine, or maybe a friend of mine. We go to a local tavern and have a drink together. You might despise me, might hate me, but you put a smile on your face and say, Hey, Warren, you're my buddy. Shake my hand. We have a beer together. And then you leave. If a dog doesn't like you, they don't buy you that beer. They just leave. That's what I appreciate, that honesty. You know, I've never met a dog or a cat that lied to me. Sometimes they fool around, but they don't lie to you. That honesty is so, so important. And that commitment. If we could just make the commitment to our pets the way they make that commitment to us, what an incredible relationship we would have. So here's where I separate from the rest of the group. I hate to use that word pack. I don't even like the word pack. I believe that we can negotiate with our pets. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to sit every time we tell them to sit. They don't have to beg for a treat and bounce it on their nose and sing three choruses of Ave Maria before they get it. If you want to give your dog a treat, give your dog a treat. Make your kids beg for a cookie? Of course not. Hey, sing me a song and I'll give you a lawn of doom. No, that's not the way it works. Talk to your pets. The more time you spend having conversations with your dogs and cats, the better the relationship is going to be. Now, I recommend this. I recommend spending a lot of time down on your dog or cat's level. I don't have a pair of jeans. I don't have holes in the knees because I spend so much time there. And as a behaviorist and trainer, having trained over 40,000 animals, let me tell you what my first approach is. When I come into your home to meet your dog, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything but watch the dog. Get on the floor, look at the dog, what kind of behavior. I'm going to speak to the entire family to find out what this family member does. Does this person tell the dog to jump up? Does that person tell the dog to get down? Does the dog call me on the phone and say, hey, Warren, isn't that the definition of neurosis? Continuity is so critical with our kids and with our pets as well. So the thing I wanted to stress here is the importance of establishing that relationship. You don't have to be the boss to have a good relationship. The best relationships I've ever had were based on equality. I understand you. You understand me. That's the way to get along with your pets. I'm so tired of, of so many people in my profession using these Gestapo methods. The dog has to do what I tell him to do. He must sit. He must stay. He must do this. He must wait till I walk out the door first. I say BS. That's nonsense. Enjoy your pets. How long do we have them? 12, 13, maybe 14, maybe 16 years if we're lucky. Hug, kiss them, tell them you love them every day. Yes, educate them, teach them proper behavior, but at the same time, let them enjoy their lives. Don't be in charge of them all the time. And every time you take your dog for a walk, he'll sit. No, let him sniff, let him smell. It's like the, it's, it's like the internet for your dog when they go for a walk. It's, it's your dog Googling. I say that a hundred times a day. Remember, enjoy your pets. That's what life is all about. I know you love them. I know you adore them. But sometimes look at life from their perspective. They're looking at us standing up all the time, big people around them. Can you imagine living in a world where everyone around you was 18 feet tall? Of course, it would drive you crazy. So here's the bottom line. If you really want to establish a better relationship with your dog or your cat, spend more time down at that level and talk to them. The more conversation you have with them, the more they're going to understand you. Remember, in fact, I have a lot of people I deal with every day, a lot of friends I deal with every day, but I got to tell you, there's no friend. No friend as legitimate or honest as your dog or cat, at least from my opinion. I'm Warren Eckstein.